Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I make my custom Chloe Bailey AMA doll. And I am just so pleased with how she looks. But before we get into that guys, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications so you guys get notified once I post again. So let's get right into this video. For this project, I use a Georgia Bloom doll from Rainbow High Series 3. Um, I feel like she was like the perfect fit for it. Um, I went and picked up a lot of a lot of stuff. Now this got adhesive stuff right here. I didn't end up using that and I don't recommend trying to use that. I don't know anything about painting, customizing, so this is my first time ever doing something like this. So I started off by cutting her hair, boiling the head, removing the hair, painting her head black and then I added edges all around the forehead area. Looking at her makeup and like the pictures and in the videos I realized that she had like this glitter kind of look so I bought this paint right here and I just added a little bit around her eyeshadow and on the lips. I feel like the lips are like a perfect color just to add glitter right over it. It looks really cute once the once it's, once it's actually done but yeah it looks really white at first I was really confused but it actually looks good afterwards. After letting it dry for a little while, I realized that a lot of the makeup was kind of overdone, so I kind of went away and chipped at it, just to like cut it down a little bit. I don't know, I'm, perf I'm a perfectionist, so I feel like it, it just had to be right. Next, I took this kind of shiny ribbon material, and I went and kind of cut out, like I kind of measured her body and made little cutouts of what I needed to use. And I'm gonna double layer everything. Um, I didn't want to use like cloth or anything because I'm not that good at sewing. So, and I really don't plan on like messing with her. She's gonna be like for a display. So yeah. Next, I'm gonna start um, putting together her head. I'm gonna glue each little yarn piece on. I feel like this yarn right here works perfectly. It's like this burgundy color, and I feel like it matches her hair really well. Okay, so this is me adding the layers to her outfit and adding the jewels and everything. I also have like these smaller jewels I never actually showed that I ended up using. But yeah, that's what I ended up using for this instead of those big ones. Okay, so while everything is drying, I am going to paint her nails white. I feel like the details matter, so I'm just gonna go all the way in. I'm also adding little jewels to her hands as like if, as if like there's rings or something. It's gonna be cute. So while I was letting her hands dry, um, I started adding the yarn to her head and I realized that the glue was very visible. So what I decided I was gonna do is take a Sharpie and color over it. And if you look at her pictures, her dreads kind of start off from black and they kind of fade into like this red. So I kind of wanted to give it that effect, make it look more realistic. After getting the right amount of thickness I wanted with the hair, um, I went through and just kind of made sure that if there were any white spots showing, I kind of covered them with black because I just didn't want, I, know, I just wanted to look as realistic as possible. Um, for her outfit pieces, I kind of held them together with super glue. Probably wasn't the best idea, but you know, it's my dog, whatever, girl, leave me alone. It's my first custom. I also gave her some white tights because she has tights on when she's performing. So afterwards, I went through and added some extra lash extensions I had. And then I went added satin varnish to the acrylic paint that I used. And yeah, I'm just really pleased with how it turned out. It took a while, but I finally got it together. I'm just glad that my vision came out pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys liked this video. Please let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications so you guys get notified once I post again. Make sure you're always being yourself and staying true to who you are because you're yourself that at least. Peace.